Hi, this is Christian Vance, and welcome to this tech tip on how to create a random sequencer. Now, a random sequencer is a really good tool to have if you're searching for notes, melodies, way things can interact with one another. Um, I use it as a really sort of good tool to break down the the creative writing block sometimes. Even if you know your music back to front and you know how to play chords and, and write melodies and all the rest of it, sometimes you get a bit stuck and you want to hear something uh, that can be really stripped down or something really complex uh, and ways that notes can bounce off one another. And also the way velocity uh, and other things can make, uh, make things really interesting in music. So first things first, let's just get rid of these standard audio tracks here. Let's have two MIDI channels and one we're going to use as a master sequencer. So let's just give that abbreviation there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to MIDI effects over here and we're just going to grab a general MIDI effect rack because what we're going to do is use this as a container for a bunch of different things that will control our random sequence. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is grab a random... There we go. We've got a random effect here which is going to change the chance and choices and scale and everything else in our random sequencer. The next thing we're going to put in is uh, velocity and actually in between those uh, which is probably the most important thing uh, especially if you're writing let's call it traditional or popular forms of dance music most dance music electronic music that we hear seems to exist only within certain chords and scales and now the thing is is you can choose any different type of of scale here but um, we're going to choose one if you open up scale one that's used very very often which is the minor pentatonic scale and we're just going to put that directly in between there so that everything's going to be first random then put through the scale and then velocity now we are going to add, we're going to actually map, I should say, different functions of these. Now, first thing, let's just get an instrument happening so that we have a sound. Let's grab a synth sound. Grab the Sonic Academy a and &A synth, which has got a various few here. Let's grab an atmospheric sound. Monument is one that's sort of a, it's already a bit of a chord, actually. Turn the volume down a bit so we don't blast ourselves and all we have to do to create a random sequencer is this no writing in notes nothing too complicated just go to the length here make it 1 16th of a note and on c3 here we just make a note okay it's playing we need the midi to come through from our sequencer so our instrument that we just dropped in here Let's give it a bit of a different color so we can differentiate. The A and A synth here, we're going to bring the MIDI in from our sequencer. And as you can see, it's playing the one note. Now, if we go back over here and we play the sequence, watch what I do here with random choices, scale. There's gonna be a few things happening. And as you can see, all these things drive different things. Basically, you've got more chance of something random happening from 0 to 100%. Choices means the notes, and the notes are basically affected only the notes within this scale, the minor pentatonic scale. So you don't have to worry about notes that aren't within this particular scale that we're using for this project, for example. And scale, well, that's basically something that's going to change your octave and where it's moving on the scale and all the rest of it but we are going to name them something else we're going to use the map function here and we're going to get chance and we're going to map it to macro one over here we'll give that a color and we're going to call that one random 
And then over on macro two, we're going to go all the way over here to velocity because I really feel that different velocity, different uh, volume on each particular note, how hard it's actually struck, creates its own groove when you're sequencing something in this particular way. So what we're going to do over here is use the random function here on velocity to macro two, and we can call that I'm going to call that velocity groove and give that an extra color there and we'll come back over to random here and we'll we'll map these two out so choices I'm going to map to macro three like this and I would like to call that one variation you can keep it as choices it's pretty much the same meaning there and on macro four we're going to use this scale to map to macro four. And I'm just going to call this jump around because basically it's going to make the notes jump around all over the place. And let's give that a color also. Something different there. And my map. So let's have a listen and let's have a quick play with these four things that I've mapped out. <laughs> Now, if you notice the random variation jump around that we've got all change things. This, the amount of randomness and this where it's going to move to. But velocity groove hasn't changed much. Reason being, this is going to control the velocity of your instrument, which is this synth over here. So let's put the variation back down, this back down. But let's keep the random up 100% because random is still going to affect this velocity and it's going to change it 100% of the time on full. So let's go into the synth and look for velocity. Most synths have a velocity function. Velocity is here. So what we're going to do is turn all these other components, these functions down a fair bit so that we can hear what's going on. Let's have a listen quickly. And let's put the velocity up. And as you can hear there, it's moving around. There you have it, a random sequencer. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.